So, I wasn't planning to do this, but I uh, have a special treat. While I was sitting in listening to all the other musicians, I got a little inspired to write about what we're doing here and, and why we do this. So I, I wrote a little impromptu thing on my phone literally like an hour and a half ago. I thought I'd share it with you right now. Wild, right? <laughs> Brand new, that's wild. All right. You're here because you get it. You can feel the natural wilderness spirit embedded. You resonate with it instinctively. It's clearly genetic. You appreciate the pure aesthetic that lingers in the lair of the lizard, in the heat of the midday air, in the desert, in the glassy lake where the sky is mirror reflected. You feel it's missing from the irritable, frenetic urban technology sphere. You regret it. You feel this at a cellular level, infusing your atoms. It's a rarefied truth that so many people simply seem to unable to truly fathom. You know that wilderness is crucial. It's a crucial factor in the human drama. And just a few interactions a week is enough to soothe the madness and move an average person to action, and not just any action, useful action. Wilderness is truthful magic. It improves happiness. Allowing its degradation to continue is something you refuse to let happen. So what is the best way to communicate this enthusiasm? Maybe we can inspire artists to act as ambassadors. I mean, if rap isn't for celebrating the natural world, then what the heck is it for? If young people aren't attracted to anything with integrity anymore, maybe I can be the red flag and y'all can be the matadors. And we can trick the bull. We can trick the bull into charging headfirst into something perspective enlarging. And instead of barging into a sword and disgorging its blood like a flood on the floor, the bull will be filled with an overwhelming sense of wonder and feel passionate instead of lethargic. I was never exactly sure of my purpose, but I think I just figured it out. This rap is the worm and the kids are the trout. You need some juicy bait to deliver a crowd. It doesn't matter what your subject is or isn't about. Clearly, I'm wrapped with a blizzard of doubt. I thought the value of my craft was intrinsic, whether or not its proper application is propagandistic. I just like interacting with words and beats and the witty mastering of techniques. I never perceived this quote-unquote rapping as nothing but pretty packaging. I just absorb my surroundings into rhyming words. I'm like the linguistic equivalent of a North Queensland lyre bird, or like a humpback whale. Anyone who says I only do this to attract females is wrong. This is deeper than a humpback whale song. It's, it's the craftsmanship that I respect. The attraction factor is nothing but a fortuitous side effect. And if another side effect is inciting people to question their place in nature or reaching increasingly disconnected teenagers and making them peaceful and introspective instead of greasy and disrespectful, then hey, I can accept it. I mean, I'm no Al Pacino, but I can make a crowd of people all flip out and scream though, or just make one person scream like they just ate a twist of jalapeno. Watch this. Shout outs to Krista Valentino. The bottom line, don't be disoriented by distractions. Look past the wrapping to see what's inside the package. Inside this package is a deep appreciation of natural habitats which may or may not relate to my combative battle raps. At the end of the day, you people don't really need my help with your efforts because enthusiasm itself is infectious. Your passion is more potent than technology's cheap sedatives. So my only take home message is this, keep spreading it. Thank you.